Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this um, app. I didn't know what I was going to say then. I was going to say in light. Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this um, photo editing app tutorial. The photo editing app is called um, Focus, F-O-C-O-S. It's this one right here. I'm just going to press it and open it. And um, as soon as you press it and open it, it brings up your um, your library. If it's the first time you've opened it, it's going to give you three options. It's going to ask you if you want to allow access to your camera, if you want to allow access to your mic, if you want to allow access to something else. I think it's cloud maybe, I'm not too sure, but just click allow for all. I'm using the free version. There is a pro version. Um, it is quite cheap as well. So um, I'll, um, I'll show you through that anyway. So you can have just your normal photos, look along the bottom or your portrait photos, um, or you can open up your, um, your sort of library just like this. So this is, you can take photos with this and it's, it's really cool. And there's a lot of things. It's a sort of high end editing. Um, you don't have to be high, a high end photographer to use it, but there are some aspects of it that you would need to sort of understand. And I'll try and help you understand some of those today. So that's really simple. You can look at your portrait photos or you can look at your, um, your cloud photos. I've just got all photos. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take a photo with this because this is when um, you can edit your portrait photos with this. Um, but what you really want to do, the magic in this is really all about the focus and about the portrait portrait aspects and that bokeh um, sort of soft blurry background that we um, sort of all love. So this is just a um, an Osmo DJI Osmo CC's live look um, an Osmo and I've just got the camera app active at the moment. You can see me up there as well. Look, look on my screen. Look nice. Yeah, cool. That's just recording. So um, I'm just going to tap the screen just to focus on a um, on a point. I want to focus on a point. What I can do is I can move, I can tap the screen and like with the native, um, the native app, I can move the focus point to wherever I want it, or I can lock that out as well. But that, I'm not going to talk about the sort of basics, um, the basic things. Let me just go around the screen for you first. Top left is the flash. Do you want the flash on? Do you want it auto or do you want it off? Um, and then we have the F-stop. So you can change the F-stop of the um, of the cameras that you're using, okay. If I just put it on default, I think default it sets to 4.5 maybe or 4. Point whatever it is, something like that. Um, and then I can change the um, the exposure. I can have it brighter or I can have it dark. It would really help if I move my hand away from the camera, right? Um, and again, I'm just going to tap the cross on the red thing. Um, tap the cross here and it will just go back to the default which is 0.2 or, or auto and then we've got the white balance at the corner you can choose a point on the screen to um, take your white balance from or you can have it um, just on auto um, I just f prefer to have it on auto I just think it's much better um, so down the bottom we've got the selfie camera on the left hand side let's have a look hey how are we all doing um, by using the wide lens the normal lens or two times, which is obviously the zoom lens. So you just use the focus point and, um, and I suppose we could take an image, we could take a shot, we could take a photo um, with the zoom lens and this will really help me explain the real cool thing with focus. Let me look um, just down here, this little arrow on the left hand side just takes you back to the, um, the photos bottom left hand side that's in yellow is a timer we can we can um, have a timer um, and then this is quite nice is this is the level so to see whether or not if I um, drop that off now I just get like a, a nice little light, yellow line but if you've got the camera in your hand I haven't got the phone in my hand at the moment I got it on a tripod but you get a nice little haptic tap as well so just a, a little vibration um, and you can also have location t services turned on or off um, I've just got them off at the moment the next one up is obviously the screen resolution um, 5 4 16 9 or sort of 4k 
um, screen and then the screen size or the image size one 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 four three or three two um, and they all speak for themselves right so you just set them to what you want them let's turn that level that level turn it off so you just select them when they're yellow they're on when they're um, grayed out they're not on so we've just got this um, so you see if I keep moving here it will either blur or unblur the background so I'm just going to take this photo I'm going to focus on this area here and I'm going to take the photo so now I've got the photo and the photo popped up in the bottom left hand side you saw that just just um, just turn up and here is the image that I've just taken so now let me move my Osmo out of the way I'm just going to put my um, tripod down here to show you all the editing tools that is inside this app and there's some really really cool things yeah. down the bottom left hand side we've got the um the aperture size right so we've got how big do we want the f-stop do we want it up at 17 and you notice the background becomes less blurry and the background becomes more blurry the further we go down so you can really get the nice if you've got some nice colors behind you can get really get a sort of nice bokeh feel so then we can look at the um, at the focus so you see the menu on the top um here so here's the focus point right so we look at the focus and we get these nice colors so the areas that are in white now or the areas that are covered are the areas that are going to stay nice and sharp for us and if we want to change the areas which are sharp and the areas which are blurry we simply adjust the image so let's go all the way up now the foreground is blurry and the background is sharper but if we want to sort of have a mixture of both now everything's blurry but if we want to get back to that sharp image that we had we bring the color back into the sharp part of the image that we want sharp nice and sharp these are the sharp areas that we want and we want the background to have that nice bulk of feel then what we can do is we can have adjust the shape of that um bulker as well you see at the at the moment that the background is just like circle and swirly because i've not got pro there's a lot of things here locked out for me like the highlights and the vividness and we can transform the image as well and also the shape of the aperture as well and then um like i said the highlights the vivid and the transform transform tra transforms not locked out for me i can just transform the image um as i want to let's just go back to the size for now um obviously just to the left of aperture at the bottom we've got the um the crop area so we can do it as shot we can change the size of the um of the image we can flip the image rotate the image and um and adjust the the sort of crop of the image um let me just um let me just go back to what we started off as something like this right if you make an adjustment the top right hand side you've got a little tick button so you tick it if you realize after that adjustment it's not the adjustment you wanted to make three little dots and you just click reset or undo and here in these three little dots we've got a few more things that we can do that are relevant to the menu structure the top part that we've got we can copy if we want to um, what's quite nice here so you can get the pro you can have a look at tutorials but you can check the exif data on the um, on the on the image what it was shot at the iso it was shot at um, and all of the the date and and just basically all of the metadata that goes with that image okay um, so now let's look at the lens along the bottom so you can have different color profile lenses you see you've got olympus um, um, different lenses Let's have a look what other lenses we've got yeah a3 a4 and and you can manage lenses you can add lenses take away lenses but because i've not got the pro version i can't adjust that or you can even make a custom lens so you can change the colors how the bokeh feels it's all about the focus this is all centered around the focus okay so then what's really nice is we've got this light so we've got the light in here right and now this is just let's say in the sunlight mode as i've got it here it's just the brightness of the screen but it just drops into this 3d sort of environment and i'm just pinching and squeezing and moving around this 3d environment and you can see the sort of light drop off that we have with this image we can edit it 
in um, in 2D, 3D, or AR if you look on the left hand side. But yeah, just look around. I just love this 3D sort of this 3D feel. And if I adjust the brightness or the sunniness of this, it then shows you in a um, sort of drop off sort of um, 3D call style what is happening with the brightness or the darkness of this image but what you can also do which is really cool you can add new lights you can add colors to light so if i click new light here i can choose a light a light bulb a fluorescent tube or a flashlight if you've got the pro version you have softbox ring lights and radial lights let me just show you the fluorescent light i'm not going to go too much into detail here but what i can do is i can make that brighter so i can adjust this fluorescent light up here and let's say i wanted this this fluorescent light to have less light, but a little bit of shadow range or color or diffuse the light. Let's say I wanted a little bit of color added to this. So let's say I wanted a bit of blue in the image. Then we could go back to our, um, back to our light after we've um, dropped off the color. And then we could look at the light again and increase the blueness of the image. And again, if we look in this 3D environment, it shows us what's happening with the image there tap the light again and it brings the light back active if you tap the arrow it makes the image or the 3d environment active um, but again i just want to reset that light and i don't want to do anything with it that's light enough for me okay um, and then we've got the little wand um, along the um, bottom and what this is really this is really cool this this part here so you notice we've got the sort of bokeh and i need to zoom in just to show you the front bokeh and the back bokeh here. So what we can do, and I'm gonna show you with the front part here, I hope, this front bokeh here, I can just increase the separation of the foreground subject to the background. Um, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this over like this. And you notice it's getting this red sort of sheen as we go along. And what is happening here is I'm creating more separation the illusion of more separation in the image from the foreground subject to the to the rear of the subject and um, so if i click the little tick now i look my image looks more separated from the background here than it did from the foreground and there's lots of little things that you can you can really um sort of play around with on this and again i can go back and i can just show you what i mean by just adjusting the size of the f-stop to make it give me more bulk or less bulk um, and then on the paintbrush on the end what I can do the colors show you which parts are tack sharp and which parts are not the lighter parts are tack sharp here so what I can do is is with these with I can select a brush um, and I can just color in I'm gonna do this really crudely okay and just color, color, color in these edges here with the brush and then when I go back to my, if I click plus, when I go back here, you see the edges around here. This is where I've made it sharp again. So you're just going to have to really sort of be sort of gentle with this and, and really zoom in quite closely and get this right. Otherwise, you're going to mess up what your image looked like. Let me show you um, what the eraser does. So if we went to the eraser, made the brush a little bit bigger and just erase all of this here all that's going to happen now is all the sharp parts of the image are going to have gone and when i go back or click ok um all of the image is blurry so that's what the eraser does it takes away the sharp part um or i can just go to my three dots and go reset but i have to go or undo sorry um, and then undo again undo again to get my image back to where i wanted it from before um, and that's about it on all of the tools. Obviously, you can get some real good results. So this is Focus. Um, I'm not too sure of the price. Shall we have a look at the price? Shall we have a look what it says on Get Focus Pro? So here's the pricing. So I'm in UK, obviously, one month. You can get it for 99 pence. Um, you should imagine that's just a dollar. And then um, $7.99 a month. And again, $8 for the month or $7.99 for the month. Uh, or you can get a one-time purchase, which is really good for $12.99. Um, and there are other, other nice little um, graphics that go with it. Let's say, for instance, I didn't want this, this image. I'll press and hold on the image. And when I press and hold on the image from 
the um, image, I'll get all the EXIF information again. Um, I can go back to editing it. I can export it from there, bottom left, or I can delete it and you get this nice little graphic. Yes, I do want to delete this image. But just remember, if you do give it access to your photo albums and you go and delete from this app, it will delete from your photo album as well. So just be careful of that. Um, this is Focus. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you didn't find it too mind blowing. It is a little bit of a um, next level <laughs> app for some people, but just have a play around with it. Have a go. You know, the, 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 the free version is free and you can do lots with it. And then the paid version, you know, you're paying a dollar or a pound for a month's, um, a month's access just to see what extra functionality you get. So I hope you all have a, um, a, great, um, a great evening, afternoon, day, wherever you are. Take care and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.